Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be multiplying some big numbers. Uh, if you want to, you can always pause the video and try some of these problems. And when you're ready to check it with me, uh, go ahead and hit the play button. Yeah, we're going to be doing 623 times 64. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. So first of all, when you multiply big numbers like that, just ignore this number right there and just start multiplying with this number here. So let's go ahead and multiply four times three equals 12. I'm gonna go ahead and put the two right here, carry the one. We're gonna be adding that one in a little bit, not yet. Now we're gonna go ahead and multiply four times two is eight plus the one would be nine. So let's go ahead and put nine right there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and multiply four times six equals 24. Go ahead and put 24 right here. And now we're ready to, to uh, begin multiplying with the six and just ignore the four, we're already done with that. So go ahead and multiply six times three equals 18. And I put the 18 right here, I start putting the eight right there and I will carry the one. If you want to, you can cross off the old number and put a new one. And now I'm gonna, um, if you want to, sometimes it's good to put a placeholder right here. You can always do that now or a little bit later. And now I'm gonna take six times two is 12, plus the one, which would be 13. So I put 13 right here, carry the one, and now I'm gonna go ahead and multiply six times six equals 36, plus the one would be 37. So I'll put 37 here. And now our next step that we're gonna do is we're going to add, I'm gonna add these numbers right here. All right, so now two plus zero is two, Nine plus eight is 17, carry the one. And then four plus one plus three would be eight. And then seven plus two equals nine. And then just drop that three down, just like that. Pretty fun. Hey, wanna try another one? Yeah, let's do it. All right. We have 327 times 15. When I'm looking at that, I, I, I love multiplying with five, so I think it's gonna go okay. And then our number right here, one, oh my goodness, that'll be an easy one. So, but again, let's just practice together. So let's go ahead and multiply seven times five equals 35. So I put the five right here, carry the three. We're gonna add that in a little bit. So now five times two equals 10, plus the three would be 13. So I put three here and the one up here. And then five times three equals 15, plus the one would be 16. All right, now with the one, I love that because all I have to do is do one times seven, one times two, one times three, it's gonna be 327. I'll show you, one times seven is seven, one times two is two, one times three is three. And again, it's always kind of neat just to put a placeholder right here. It's not changing the value here at all. I just kind of, Helps you when you're starting to add, you know, if you're adding a bunch of numbers there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a line right over here and then go ahead and just do our addition. So five plus zero is five. Seven plus three, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I need to put the zero here, carry the one. So six and two is eight, plus the one is nine. Go ahead and put the nine here. And then three plus one equals four. Cuatro in Spanish. All right, we got one more to do. All right, let's go ahead and do that together. We have 2,682 times 35. All right, hey, again, if you wanna pause that video, try it on your own and then hit the play to check it. All right, two times five equals 10, carry the one. Eight times five equals 40, plus the one would be 41. Bring that four up here. And then five times six equals 30 plus the four would be 34. So put the four right here and then three right here. And then five times two is 10 plus the three would be 13. Now, one common mistake when students are doing this is they get a little bit sloppy with their numbers. They get kind of jumbled all around and then that's where they will make some mistakes. So the neater you can write your numbers and more in place, the better. As you can see, my one is a little bit sloppy. I could have done a better job on that. All right, um, let's go ahead and go ahead and start with the three right here. Three times two equals six. 
3 times 8 is 24. All right, 24, 3 times 8 is 24. Put the 2 right there. And then 3 times 6 is 18, 19, 20. So I put the 0 right here, carry the 2. And then 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 2 would be 8. Just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a 0 right here just for a placeholder and add these numbers. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 6 is 7. 4 plus 4 is 8. 3 and 0 is 3. And 8 plus 1 is 9. Now, some people will put the 0 here and some people don't. It's totally up to you. Um, and, and we're more concerned on getting the right answer, but there's always different ways on how to achieve that answer. I'm going to go ahead and put a comma right there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our next frame. Thanks a lot for joining the show today. I really appreciate that. Um, at the end of the show, I always like to take a look at some of the comments from my subscribers. And once in a while, I will take some of their suggestions and make it a part of my show. Um, whole, uh, I'm going to take a look at this comment toward the end, all right? Um, right here, we have uh, Lawrence. Thanks very much for the comment. We might do that problem in a little bit uh, in, in another show right there. Um, but I appreciate your comments there. We got the CEC Masters said, hi, hello out there. Um, Marciana said uh, she's laughing um, a bunch of times there. So thank you very much. Legacy says, can you do 78 divided by 69? I think we can on one of our shows. Yeah, definitely. And Samson, thank you very much for your comments. So I'm always, uh, I, I just... Just love all the uh, comments and just all the care and, you, and just support that you guys have done. <laughs> Let's take a look at this right here. I believe the name, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, Janish uh, says, help me with this number. Do, do you see the size of the division number right there? I actually wrote it down on the next screen right here. This is the problem that he wants me to do. And I was like, wow. So we... This is definitely going to take like one long show, so um, stay tuned for that. Maybe in a, in a week or so, I might do this problem. Whew, uh, <laughs> I might be working at that for a while, but I got some different ideas on how to do that, but it might be kind of fun. I want you to treat mathematics like a puzzle, like a game. Just have fun with it. Um, and the more fun, it just, it, just, it just helps you along the way. When I'm teaching math, I just, I'm always trying to get those kids to think of it like a puzzle. So just make it fun. Hey, I hope you guys are having, you guys are having fun out there too. Make sure you get outside and do some playing and we'll talk to you later. Adios, goodbye.